helps to unmute the mic. There we go. Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we have uh, decided on what our next long-term stream is going to be, and that is Project Zomboid. Don't mind me looking all over the place. Uh, probably should have cleaned my glasses before starting a stream, but you know, um, you know, we don't, we don't prepare for these things. We just kind of do them. <laughs> so getting that, uh, down from the top shelf so I can actually do that. So, um, I'm going to do open VC for this, but I don't expect anybody to pop in. It's, it's like 10 AM on a Sunday, uh, on a holiday. Like, I don't expect anybody to be here, but, you know, it'll be open if uh, people want to pop in. For those that have never played Zomboid, um, this is an isometric, uh, not quite top down, but the like, from above, but from an angle kind of game. Like, uh, Fallout 1 and 2 kind of had a similar look. Um, I think that's just called an isometric view. Uh, and it's a zombie apocalypse survival game. But not the kind where you're, you know, going around trying to murder every single zombie or trying to go through... Um, Know, entire hordes you kind of you kind of go uh you just try and survive uh long term so you got to think about things like what are you going to do when the power grid goes out what are you going to do when the plumbing goes out um uh, then you do it in all the food rots Or, you know, if you are using vehicles, where are you going to get your gas from? How are you going to repair your car? Um, those kinds of things. Um, so it kind of starts usually as a, like, you have nothing and you got to, you got to just like go through people's houses and hope you find something useful. Uh, and then it moves to trying to find a place to set up a base, set up a home, and eventually, uh, maybe you do start trying to, like, get areas cleared out, uh, try and get something like a farm going, or, uh, you know, find a supply of of power of some kind. Uh, thing, it, it's it's more of that kind of a game. Um, so, it's, you know, it's one I think is kind of fun. You Generally, you're not going around guns blazing, shooting every zombie you see. Uh, turns out guns are loud, and zombies like to... They, they like to go towards sounds and then eat the things that made sounds. So you think you're dealing with a couple of zombies and then suddenly you're overwhelmed. And uh, apparently, uh, despite being taking place in Knox County, Kentucky, um, which anyone familiar with the American South knows that uh, they tend to like their guns, your character is inevitably always very, very bad with guns. At least when you start. You can you can work on that. Um, they can't aim for shit. So uh without getting too far into the weeds before we even start, um, I'm going to I'm gonna start a completely fresh world. And I've got a bunch of mods here. Um, all of the yellow and green ones are activated. So we have like custom vehicles added. 
Um, one of my goals is going to be trying to find a Jeep because the Jeeps are, are really cool. The They have um, some of them you can modify the cars to like have uh, like ramming bars on them or armor the windows and whatnot. Um, I've got a lot of like little quality of life fixes on here like better looking icons, flagging things if I've seen them before. Um, I've got a bunch of new guns added to the added to this, but they're not they're still guns. They're still going to be very dangerous to use. Um, and then a lot of like things that expand what you'll run into more interesting zombies to run into. Maybe you run into a party of like um a, a party of zombies that are cosplays of another character from another series for zombies or um things like that. And then a lot of uh, crafting things as well. So like being able to clean up your base being able to um, find ways to make uh, natural gas so that you can, you know, have gas to burn for things. Um, and things that just make your inventory management easier. Uh, as well as some expanded... Uh, expanded towns uh this is based on knox county um kentucky but there there's some um, added extras in there as well so this is a, a pretty pretty heavy mod list anybody that wants to see them there's page one Oh, that doesn't go by pages. Okay. Page two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nine and a half. Nine and a half pages of mods. Um, with me using maybe about half of the ones I have downloaded. Um, that's another nice thing about this game is you can really, really tweak it to make it into something all your own. And it's a game that keeps getting more and more added to it, even after 10 years. Uh, the mod, the... Uh, developers are still releasing new content. The next one, I think they're planning on adding like animals that you can uh, try and domesticate and, or rather, try and tame and then use as like farm animals, which is pretty cool. And basements, because there there are there are mul there are multiple stories in the game, but. Ground level is ground level for everybody. Is the there's nothing below ground level, um, so they're adding that too, which is really cool. Um, I am going to do just a solo world, and um, start in Riverside. This is one of the standard uh, vanilla towns. Um, I did add. A fire department to it because it was kind of crazy it's a, it's a pretty sizable town but there's no fire department um so i added that but we're just gonna we're gonna spawn somewhere in riverside um and the changes that i have to the standard role is um I turn off zombie respawns when without counting respawning of zombies um, there's still something like 26,000 zombies 
and any one of them could kill you uh, when you make a mistake. So it really doesn't seem necessary to have more of them spawning. And if you clear out an area, it's nice to be able to like you know, if you actually like go through the the hassle of getting all the zombies out of an area, uh, either by like being loud and leading them away, Pied Piper style, or actually managing to kill them all, um, it's nice to be rewarded for that and not just have your work undone in like three days when they spawn another wave. Um, and zombies will migrate and roam across the map anyway. So even if you do, even if even if there aren't respawning zombies, you could clear out an area and then come back later and zombies have wandered in. Um, so I kind of like that nature of it. And then the only other change here is uh, changed days to two hours long. Uh, by default, they're one hour. 24 hours takes one hour. Um, and it's it's just a way of being able to feel like you've accomplished a bit more in a day. Um, usually you're sleeping for eight hours of the day anyway, so 40 minute days uh, doesn't feel like you accomplish much. Uh, so giving yourself a little more time to do that it's kind of nice. Uh, in a way, it does make the game a little bit easier because as time goes on, infrastructure starts to break down. Uh, so a longer day means you have a little bit more time to get things going before you know, those things happen. Um, but you don't have to do any of those changes if you don't want. You can just do, you know, vanilla roll set. Um, the biggest difference between apocalypse mode and survival mode uh, that you might notice those uh, is apocalypse mode when you're using a melee weapon you can only hit one zombie at a time in survivor mode um, you kind of have a, a cleave effect like D&D rules where if there's two zombies really close together and you have a big enough weapon uh, that you could conceivably like hit two of them at a time, you you can do that, um, and that makes a world of difference, uh, especially for some of the the two handed weapons in the game. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I'm gonna do, and you get to build a character. Before I go too far into this. Uh, yeah, cat's still there. Uh, the cat has actually um, found a new place that she likes to hang out in. Do I have that camera up there? Yeah. She's found a new place she likes to chill. Um, we got her, we got her a new toy, really, is what it is. Um, and it's just, it's supposed to be like a scratch post and um, a, a scratching bed and like a, a thing to kind of like rub up against and like scratch herself, kind of brush herself with it. She's been using it like it's a, an actual bed um, that she will occasionally use as a scratching floor. Um, which is kind of cute. Um, it's just cardboard, but, you know, I have, like, a cushioned seat here. I have her, like, custom-made bed with a heated, heated bottom for her to, like, relax on. She sleeps on the cardboard. <laughs> so, yeah, cat cam. We got fit today, and she has been going there pretty reliably, so she might actually just hang out there. I, um, actually, let's do a little bit of zoom there. There we go. 
Don't mind um, the things that she managed to get out uh, out of my tool closet and play with for a little bit and then leave there. She has toys. Sometimes she likes to play with my toys. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Don't mind. Okay. Building your character. So, uh, for those that have never played this game, uh, it's a point system. And you can get yourself more points by adding negative traits to yourself. And then you spend points to get bonuses to your character. So you can kind of have a little bit of a different uh, build for yourself as you see fit. Um, so for mine... Um, I have a couple of presets here. Um, some of them are great. Some of them are kind of risky. Um, I am probably going to go with something like this. Um, One of the ones that I've liked is going obese, uh, which reduces your, um, it reduces your fitness level by two. You start at like five, five, but then I'll put on fitness instructor to give myself three fitness back and I will then also have a uh, strong, I think. Yeah. Which puts me at plus four strength. So this, this is a six fitness, nine strength build, um, which is pretty great. But, uh, and then obese is something that you can work off. Uh, uh, you just eat less. Uh, it kind of seems like that's that's not entirely true. You do need to eat like better stuff too. So more fruits and veggies and less like meats or junk food. Um, which early game is easy uh, because everybody's fridge is full of this stuff. Um, so working off obese from the beginning is actually not too bad um and then i'll take like a point in carpentry maintenance and metalworking so that um whenever you start with a point in a skill this, this will be easier to explain uh once we're in the game um when you start with points in a skill you get an xp bonus uh, where you just earn experience in that skill faster, uh, which is really good, uh, especially for very difficult ones to get, like uh, maintenance, which you get by constantly uh, using things like weapons that will degrade over time. Um... And then starting with strength and fitness, fitness is you're, you're not going to wear out, uh, get exhausted as easily, which getting exhausted is often going to get you killed. And strength is just like your carry weight and your attack strength, which is really good. Um, I'm going to do something a little different this time. Uh, something that some of my friends have been swearing by is Lumberjack. Um, so this one, rather than these fitness and sprinting perks, you get a point in strength, which would put me at a straight 10 for strength, which is great. Uh, two points in axe, awesome. And you get the Axeman trait, which I think it speeds up your axe use. Yeah, 
it speeds up uh, your your attack speed with an axe, and you can take down enemies quicker, which is pretty great. Um, and then I also move quicker through trees, I guess. Not really something I'm going to use a whole lot, though. Um, still get carpentry, fitness. Fitness is down to three now, which is not the best. I could probably change obese over to overweight, a less severe version. Um, cannot gain fitness XP towards level 10. Never noticed that before. I could do that. Uh, I think I want to keep obese, though. That gives me that gives me more points. I'm also more prone to uh, having my skin punctured, which is not good. High thirst. I need to drink more. Heal slower. Uh, more likely to be spotted by zombies. Prone to getting sick. Uh, smoker is an easy trait to take because cigarettes are, are pretty much everywhere. It's 1993 Kentucky, uh, and everyone smokes. So just keep smokes on you, and that is completely negated. Um, otherwise, if you don't smoke, then you'll get anxious um, and agitated, and then your mood decreases, which has implications later weak stomach just don't eat anything that's gone bad uh short-sighted wear glasses and that's negated easy you can make your character with glasses uh slow reader um a lot of skills and experience boosts are based off of reading but once you have read it it's done with. You don't have to worry about it again. So harder to get going, but you get more points on your character. And uh, I can fast forward while I'm reading, so not the end of the world. Um, boosts that I get. Axeman from the Lumberjack tree. Speed Demon. Um, I'm faster in cars and louder um but this is this is a nice one just for um getting around but it does make you more conspicuous when you're backing up better night vision uh moving inventory that's just gonna be a quality of life thing that we just don't have to sit and wait as long to move things better luck finding items okay um, plus one metalworking. Scrap weapons, I don't really care about that much. Uh, they are good. It's a modded thing. Um, if I'm really more interested in the metalworking, because that is a bear to level, and even just putting one point in it, I get a 75% experience boost every time I get experience in there. Fast learner, uh, improves how quickly you learn any skill. Great thing. Uh, increased capacity for uh, any inventory. This one can be a little annoying on multiplayer servers, uh, as we found out that if everyone doesn't take that, then when you get to like storage in your base, I'm gonna turn down the game a little bit. Um, when you are go to 10 there we go um when you're sharing inventory space especially in a base um somebody with the organized crate either refuse it they either have to refuse to use that uh when you're storing things or other people when they are in your in the base are going to be um, they're going to be struggling to get things into storage or they can't take something out of storage and then put it back 
because they can't put something into it uh, that an organized person could because they don't get as much storage space to work with. Uh, and that results in people like taking things out of boxes and then not being able to put them in and they just they have to set it on the ground and like call over the organized person to go put it in. Um, single player, it's much better. <laughs> so it's one I really like. Uh, handy. This one is I'm getting mainly for the carpentry and maintenance skill. But, uh, you know, one point in each of those, those level quicker. Uh, maintenance is the durability of your, your gear. Um, so leveling that quicker means things will last longer. That's great. And then carpentry. Carpentry is one that you benefit from greatly having a high level. Um, getting to like level seven lets you build stairs so you can get onto like the roofs of buildings and such. Um, your the things that you build are of a higher quality so like your storage boxes will store more and they'll look nicer um, and it's being able to defend your base a little bit better by building things and uh, being able to expand your base by getting up on roofs or um, you know, maybe you make a bridge over to the, the building next door. You can you can do that. Um, so that one's pretty good. Strong, just being able to deal with zombies easier is a great way. It is a great thing. So, and then it also increases your carry capacity. Um, I'm going to start with 10, which is the max strength. Uh, so I'm going to have the maximum carry capacity. So, yeah. Cricket, you are awfully still on that camera um i'm gonna pop over and pet her for a second just to prove that she's not dead <laughs> hey there oh i see a little twitch yeah okay <laughs> since she's um you know, not moving around too much, which, you know, it's fine. That is fine. All right. Um, with the switch of the skill from fitness instructor to lumberjack, I get six more points. So I get to figure out what I want to do. Um, could do locksmith. Graceful wouldn't be bad. Be a little sneakier. Point and tailoring, that would be easy, better for leveling it, because that one's kind of annoying. Um, keen hearing is a really good one. Or I could take off something. I think I think I'm gonna go with keen hearing. There we go. So that puts us at zero. Uh, as long as you are not negative, you can start. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, keen hearing is just it makes it easier to hear zombies, and you can see behind you a little better people you know zombies won't sneak up on you as easily um and we can make a character for ourselves so one of the mods i have gives you more options here um usually there's not as much that you can do We're going to put uh, glasses on you because nearsighted. That just seems like that makes sense. You know, you if you're someone that has vision issues, then maybe maybe you should, you know, be able to have glasses. That makes sense, right? That's black. Okay. 
Um, I'm not going to give any of the clothing buffs that um, any of the clothing that gives you buffs. So like denim. Uh, denim protects you a little bit more. Let's go with a Hawaiian shirt. Why not? Yeah. Uh, jeans. Jeans give you... It's reasonable for someone to, you know, wear jeans in, in the 90s. Um... But I am gonna do this. Am I? Yeah, why not? I put her in a dress. Let's get her some regular sneakers. There we go. And what kind of, let's take the hat off for a minute. What kind of hat hair are we going to give you? This hair is something that is not actually easy to change once you're going. One of the mods I've got has got more cosmetic options. What does that look like? Meh. What are we going to do for hair? First boss of the game. Make your character. You're stuck with it. That ain't bad. What one is that? 14 middle? I like that too. Anyone watching, you are welcome to chime in if you see something you like. No, we're not looking at that. Oh, full librarian. It's supposed to be like Breath of the Wild Link. Here you go, emo. We're gonna go with go with that one. And we stick with gray. It's great. Let's stick with the gray. Mess around with this too much. Okay, so when we start a new world. Oh, that's not updating, is it? Hold on. Hmm. Oh, I know that's probably because it's loading. So none of that character creation was uh, was showing, was it? Hmm. And the uh, the total points there it goes. The total points on my build uh, was completely covered by cat cam, but cat's important. Must have the cat cam. 
It's actually getting a little warm in here. Do I want to turn on AC? Is that sign? I think I do. Okay. Um, while this generates the world, I'm going to go get some water and turn on the AC. I will be right back. Do not mind the uh, immersion breaking my character having feet. You know, things I gotta remember um, when using cat cam is uh, there is human or something like that that might appear. And that is totally, totally water. <laughs> okay, here we go. Looks like we're starting in a bar. So we got the top down view. Is that updating? Hold on. It's in my hand here. I think this might just be a zomboid thing. Oh. Well, that's weird. It looks like it only refreshes when I click off of it. which actually kind of tracks for um, that kind of tracks for how Zomboid seems to work sometimes. So we're going to do this. There it goes. Okay, now it's working. Okay, so since we couldn't see loading making a character. This is our character. Um, yeah. And starting stats. So all skills can be leveled to 10 and you'll get different perks for those. Um, I'll have no protection with any of the clothing I'm wearing. And I do have to worry about the body cap. Okay, so um, step one is going to be getting a weapon. Um, got the 20 carry capacity because I am a big, strong boy. 
Um, screwdriver and wrench. Wrench will have to do to start. I'm going to put that on my belt and then equip in my primary hand. That's my starting weapon is a wrench. We got food in there? Okay. Food bucket. I'll take that. I want to take these strips of cloth as well because I might need an emergency bandage. Especially with having zero protection. Uh, get some beer. I don't think bull cues are particularly good as weapons, but we'll we'll bring it. Oh, this place. Oop. Don't want to go outside just yet. Um, this place is all booze, isn't it? Ooh, cigarettes. Perfect. And matches. Okay, so the smoking thing is now resolved. <laughs> one perk negated. Or one demerit negated. Okay. So. The uh, dark areas. That uh, only will be revealed when I actually go see it. And keep a wide view so I can see what's going on around me. There's our first zombie. And then our third zombie and fourth. Fifth and sixth. Okay. So. Um, I can't get in there. We've got a weapon. I would like to find like a crowbar or a baseball bat or something like that. Um, something a little heftier. I don't think I want to go that way. Oh, got our first zombie's attention. I'll wander back this way. So you see how that zombie's disappeared now that I'm not facing? The lit lit up area is what you can see. Like you're actually aware of. Everything that's darker. Uh, everything that is darker is uh, I didn't actually get Underwear, did I? Nope, didn't have the option. So now I've thankfully I've got underwear now. Woohoo. Uh Alright, so the lit up areas, everything I'm aware of, everything that's darker is stuff that uh I have seen the area before, but I don't know exactly what's there right this second. Oh, sweet. This car started with the key in it and unlocked. I'm going to take that and put it on my key ring. Unlock the trunk. We got more cigarettes. We got a map of Louisville, which is pretty far away. Um, honestly, I've never even made it there. But problem, no gas. So I can't actually drive it. Um, I don't know what magic there was in this apocalypse that made 95% of the gasoline in vehicles to just evaporate, but um, most vehicles that you come across will not have uh, will not have uh, gas in them. I'm going to mark. Oh, I need a pen or a pencil. I have not found a pen or pencil yet. I cannot mark the map. Early game problems. All right, come here. 
push you on the ground, stomp your head. Uh, I'm going to leave all that. Now, dead zombies will eventually despawn. Oh, crap. That one saw me, didn't it? Come here. Come on. Fall over. There we go. Don't need... Oh, jeans. Good condition, too. Okay, so that's protection. Uh, denim is better than cotton or whatever I'm wearing. So... Oh, we need a watch. So now you can see the time. Uh, we're going to wear those. Get rid of those pants. There we go. Now we have a little bit of protection on our legs. Some is better than none. Cigarettes. Another map of Louisville. Map of Muldrow. Oh, pen. Perfect. Okay, map. We have sports car there. We're going to save that. No keys for this car, so I couldn't drive it. Ooh, got to remember there's a jack there. Those are kind of hard to find, usually. Into the watch. Nice. Take this watch. Okay, so a digital watch gives us temperature and date. And we can set an alarm. Which we will do so we can keep a sleep schedule. Come on. Come on. Oh, shoot, I'm getting thirsty. Should have brought one of those beer bottles just to fill up with water. Can go back. Hey, no. One at a time. My regular jeans. Nothing useful there. Sometimes um, you can find the keys to cars uh, on zombies near. There's a corpse in this trunk. It's fucked up. <laughs> um, sometimes you can find the keys to cars on nearby zombies. Hey, bud. Don't know how doors work? Oh, I guess it's locked. All right. Sorry, this is bugging me. There. You got a little shiv in you, don't you, bud? Wonder if that's going to be useful. Come here. Come here. Make a pile. Hey. Right. Okay. Nothing good there. Butter knife. I got stabbed by a butter knife. That's rough. Damn. Okay, unlock the trunk. That's good. More map. I could use a bag. Oh, something like a duffel bag, I meant. But garbage garbage bags are good. Um, we'll use those later as like liners for all over. There we go. A lot easier to take them down when they're on the ground. Pencil.
I heard that. Come on. Alright, so you see how she's got holes in her uh, jeans there? That looks like they've been damaged. So, despite being overalls, which would probably be good uh, defense, not if there's holes in it. There we go. That is good. All right, we can drop these sneakers. Yeah, condition is worn. So that's got holes in it. It's not going to be... That is uh, not going to provide good protection. That will. There we go. I got a little protection everywhere. Just a little bit. Feet? Feet are solid. Okay. Already unlocked this. Oops. Okay. Right. I needed to get something for water. I'm going to see if there's something in that building there. Come here, bud. Hey. Okay. I'm going to try out the pool queue for a little bit. Oh, no, that's a closed store. Pretty sure that's all closed. Oh, food. Nice. They're a perfect water bottle. Boom. Okay, so as long as you have a water bottle in your inventory, you will just drink from it automatically. Um, other kinds of drinks, like soda, uh, you will have to drink from manual. I usually like to have two water bottles on me. That's good. I'm going to need a bag. It's a knife. Okay. Knife is a knife. Empty bowl. I'm going to take one of those. Or later. Okay, we got tools. Stuff to pick up later. Those are heavy for right now. But once we've got like a base established somewhere. Look at this farming stuff. Nice. You know, I want to come back for these. Uh, map. Let's see. Food and farming stuff. There. I already know um, where it is I want to set up base. There is a, um, a post office. That is actually very, very defensible. Um, wool is pretty heavy in the middle of summer. Denim shirt, though. That's good. Uh, you know what? That's mod stuff. I don't know what that is. There, now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to take that. That looks pretty goofy. <laughs> That's all right. All right. You can refill your water bottles and sinks until you know, the water works are shut down. We got back here. Pipe wrench. All right. 
another empty bucket. Well, I'll take it for now. I'll drop them later if uh, weight starts to become an issue. Do I have a second? I only have one water bottle. All right, I'm going to take this orange soda. I'll drink that later, and then I'll become a water bottle. Uh, so as I was saying, the place I want to set up is the post office. Very defensible. Uh, there is a great way to get to the roof easy, which I can use. Yeah, this isn't very good for killing. Um, there's a nice way to the roof for like making a farm, which I will want to do. We're going to go that way. What do you got, bud? Nothing? Okay. So, um, it is very easy to get exhausted in this game. So, I do not recommend running unless it is a last resort. That's... I'm gonna suck for this. But it does hit more than one zombie at a time, which is good. The key difference between survival and apocalypse mode is that. Come on. There we go. All right. Take that. That's damaged. Do I have a screwdriver already? I do. Perfect condition, too. Okay. Starting to get a little anxious. So I'm going to need a smoke soon. That. Oh, I see you. I see you. Come on. Full Q's got a little longer range than I'm used to. So I keep missing my shove. That'll do. All right, so here is our gas station. This will be important later. When we have a vehicle. And generators. Oh, hey there, Hyper. Yeah, I'm not used to being awake this early. Um... Yeah, so... Yeah. Very unusual, I know. But thanks for stopping by. This place open? I hear that. Come on. Come on. Right, Grandma... Take you out, I guess. You really look like a grandma. <laughs> okay, that's locked. So you can try and break and enter. I don't have gloves. I'm going to hope that I can use a pool cue and not injure myself. Okay, it looks like it's okay. Remember to remove all the broken shards of glass before you try and climb through. Those are very useful. 
I don't need quite this many, though. So I'm gonna... I'm not gonna carry the entire store with me. Ah. Uh, anything useful here? Nope. Top off my water bottle. Nails will be useful later, but I'm getting to near the top of my carry capacity without a backpack of some kind. I'm going to grab that burrito, though. Another water bottle. Okay, perfect. Orange juice. You can go in there. I'm going to take the other water bottle. Um, only reason for switching that is the auto fill, the auto drink. I'm not going to have to try and juggle that. And um, character is, I think that's supposed to be kilos. 80 is considered normal. Okay. We're going to read all these maps so that we can expand our not map knowledge. Riverside is where we are. Okay, so we're like right here. I want to get to here. That's where we're going to set up. That's just fun. We'll take that. Oh, I am nearly full. Okay. All right, we'll keep working our way down the street. We got the police station here, which is usually a very good source of gun. Um, we'll get to that. Oh, there's some Jeeps. I think that's a Rubicon too. The red one. He's... Uh... Guys, I've got good taste here. Okay, here's the classic. The classic is the weakest of them. It doesn't look too bad. Checking the status of these vehicles. Ooh, that's not great. <laughs> yeah, it's um different Rubicon. Very different Rubicon. I am pretty sure this would not do well. Uh, it's got some nice starting gear. Okay, that's cool. What do we got in the police station? We will need to liberate the guns from these uh, terrible hostage holders here. Okay, so we have... I know it kind of looks like there's a lot of like little junk in the game. And it's kind of true, but a lot of it does have uses. So like when I'm writing on a, on a map, um, I can draw in any color that I have. So I have a black pen and a pencil. So I can I can uh, you know black and graphite are my two colors I can color in. But if I picked up a blue pen I'd be able to do blue or red. I could do a red pen. Um, which is really weird how incredibly granular this game gets sometimes. Both its strength and its weakness. Trying to pick up the game when there's like all these little tiny things that you have to worry about. 
It can be a little daunting. Yeah, so if I picked up that blue pen, I could start start writing in blue. Things that seem like they're very obvious when said aloud, but from a gameplay stance, a little less obvious. Brady's action films lied to me. They made it look like pool cues were fantastic weapons. They are not. Ah, uh, what do we got? Yeah, it's got holes in it. Okay. Moving on. Um... It's 83 Fahrenheit, and um, I'm walking around in a wool jacket, so I'm a little overheated. I'm going to keep it that way, though, because uh, better than dead. Drink more water. Whoops. Now we got a crawler. There we go. Get on the floor. All right, so that is not a good thing. Exertion. The first sign of being a little tired, you lose half of your melee attack. And when you're dealing less damage, it takes more hits to put someone down which means you start burning through more of your stamina, which it just snowballs. That's how you die. I'm going to try and take it a little slower. While I feed combo, feed back this zombie. Okay. Nothing there. You can just, like, sit down and rest. And that will help it go away quicker. You can do this weird spin. Check your surroundings. Okay. Things that uh, make you tired. Trying to beat up a bunch of zombies. Carrying too much. Which we are real close. I'm at almost 20 of 20. Oh, it's broken. Okay. Uh, food. It's starting to get a little hungry. We'll wait a bit. Our character's fat. Not allowed to eat. Oh, shoot. I just aggroed all of them. Okay. Come on, thriller zombie. Oh, shoot. Nope. Almost bit me. Oh, who's about to give out, too? Stop it. So maintenance skill helps these things last longer. No. Nope. There we go. There's another point in maintenance. So things will last just a little longer. That was a little exhausting. Dangerous. Good boots. Uh, 
Okay. I'm going to um, drop those boots so that I can come back for them later. So the zombies will gradually despawn. I think that's another setting that I modified on this is uh, things despawning quicker because it does eventually become a little bit of a problem when there's so much crap. Um, world starts loading in slowly. Unlock that. Rosewood. I don't have rosewood. Yes, I do. Okay. Um... Another jeep. Maybe, uh, maybe the jeeps are spawning a little too much. I usually think they're very hard to find. Um, empty gas can. That's a must. Okay, trunk. You are going to have all these mapped. All, all this stuff that I've been collecting. We're going to just start storing things in here so that um, we can not worry. That'll do. 15 pounds. Without going over. Okay, now I'm agitated. So reduced melee damage and I'm going to start becoming unhappy. So now is the time for a smoke. I really like the color of this one. But the Rubicons are more powerful overall. The eventual goal is a Rubicon. Uh, a couple things got me... Uh, a couple things got me back into Zomboid. Um, there's some streamers for Niji Sanji that have just been obsessing over the game. Uh, for like the past month. So watching a lot of those. Um, I don't think I'm not like at the point where I want to do like a whole server like I did before, because that is a whole nother level of work that needs to go into it. Hey, this one's got a key. Um, but... I guess, though. But, uh, yeah. Seeing things over and over again makes me want to play again. And, uh, I have been tooling around a little bit. Off of Ooh, that's a good horde. Um, I have been tooling around a little bit in the game and uh, recently died in my last solo on my own time. So. Oh, there goes the. Uh, the pool queue. So. With uh, having just died, it was a good time to start a fresh world. And I thought, mm, why not stream it? Cat uh, has stepped away, so Cat Cam can disappear. Okay. That is a shredded leather jacket. But yeah, jewels, you can buy them jewels a little bit for that. <laughs> I am going to ignore that horde for now and just hope they stay over there. This is our goal, the post office. 
This is what I want. This is going to be our base. We're going to go clear it out. Back door's open. Nice. These doors have a random chance to be locked or not. Um, so... Once I go through one door, I'm just going to open and close all the other doors. I hear that. Hello. There we go. So uh, I'm going to go to all the other doors. And open and close them once just to have them unlocked. Because zombies uh, are not smart enough to know how to operate a door. They just kind of bang up on them. Oh, hello. There is only room in here for one gray-haired person. You will have to get out. And I just put you down over here. I don't want bodies in the base. You know, leaving corpses lying around, they can get you sick. We're going to open and close the window so we can use that later as a potential emergency entrance exit. Door is unlocked. Sharp and blue book, very useful. Open and close the window, close the blinds so no zombies want to get in. Not the lights in here, didn't I? They were already off. Not that I really need to early, but um, we're getting to. When I get to having to provide my own power, I'm going to try and uh, minimize power usage. Hey, you do not mess with those windows. Yeah, yeah, you can't... Ah, oh, they just broke the window. You can you can pick up zombies and um, carrying them around is putting them in your inventory. Hey, stop breaking that window. Let's keep breaking all the windows. Oh, this was this was not wise. I knew there was a horde there, and I just walked right through them. Now I get panic. Panic decreases your damage. It actually does a lot of bad things. Panic because horde. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I'm already exhausted. All right. We just need to get out of here. So here's what we're going to do, is we're going to Pied Piper these things away. Uh, I'm not overweight on my carry capacity. So I'm not going to keep getting exhaustion. I'm just going to walk away casually. I'm going to drop some buckets here. Reduce my weight a little bit. There we go. Get our panic down. The horde is still coming. Yep. 
Just keep coming, guys. Gonna do a little lap. Oh, they've split. Okay. You. Gotta go through these two. Yep, they're coming. Is it just a one up here? Okay, I can deal with that one. I'm going to um, take a seat for a minute. Just be out of sight. Take a breather. Maybe eat a burrito. And that burrito go. Half a burrito. Oh, don't you do that. Very rude. Oh, wrench this double hit? No kidding. Okay. Run past you. Almost never want to run. But, um, sometimes, sometimes you gotta. We're just, we're just gonna walk away. When life gets hard, you know. You don't have to deal with it. You can just walk away. Just, just leave. It's easy. Hear that? The music's dying down. It's not so scary anymore. Definitely not. A horde somewhere behind us. Oh my god, did I really lose them? I lost them. <laughs> I fully expected to turn around and just, like, see them all there. Okay. Well. That worked. Almost 90 Fahrenheit. Out there. We're gonna go inside. Where there's... AC? Or something? Okay. Refill our water. We eat half the burrito. We're good on that. Close those. Zombies shouldn't spawn in there. And I need to board up these windows later. Or, honestly, I don't even worry about boarding them usually. Because I pretty much sacrificed the first floor. And it is strictly uh, the stairwell that I'm concerned with. Like these are good because these are usually filled. Yeah, these are just filled with books. Got my own little library down here. Which will soon be my library upstairs. 
I am um, starting to think that my four color pen actually disabled the whole thing. I meant to only disable the, there's like a gag item with it where it's, there's like a six foot tall Bic pen that you can use as a weapon. And you know, it's great and all. Um, it is OP as hell. Has like crazy durability and does like the maximum amount of damage. Um, so I was playing with it on my last playthrough and, and uh, holy cow, it is just so overpowered. <laughs> I am either just striking out though, or I fully disabled that mod. Um, you know, those like four color pens that uh, were really popular in like the 90s. It's it's that, that's that in the game. But considering that I have seen so much stationary not one of these pens. I think I might have disabled the whole thing. If I did, then I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that later. Okay, so this is gonna be my base. Um, slight hitch early on. No bed. Uh, and that means. I need to try and deal with getting at least one room in that structure next door cleared uh, so that I can try and uh, <laughs> try and sleep somewhere tonight. Still looking for this pen. Well, the building is clear, save for the pen that big, you'll be able to just write off all the zombies. Ha ha ha, you're not wrong. I think the description of it is something like, um, it's made from a fire created by 10,000 Bic lighters and made from the the remnants of the the steel remnants of of 500 Bic razors to make this 6 foot sized pen and to be fair if it's 6 feet and it's made of steel, even if it's like crap steel, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> All right, we have drowsy, minus 50% melee damage, moderate exertion, minus 50% melee damage. We are in a very bad place if we have to get, if we have to fight anything. So, and um, this will also slow down my stamina regeneration. So this stuff snowballs real quick. Just take a nap. Yeah, I, I should. I need to go get a bed. Um, I'm going to see if I can sneak into a room next door, a little motel. Well, that one's broken. 
There we go. Ah, uh, windows busted. Uh, someone's trying to break in. Anyone in here? No? Okay. Open that. Close blinds. I think I'm going to leave that open. Alright, so we have snuck into a room. I'm going to use that for my bed for the night. And um, I'm going to start trying to build a routine. Which is going to involve sleeping at the same time, exercising, and that basically does. Hey! How'd you get in here? They all just sneak up on that one. Come on. I do not need this many zombies. Wait. Get in here. No one saw. Okay. Still not a single backpack, duffel bag, any of that. So we're going to start collecting some books. Annex one, trapping one. Missing one. Tailoring one. That's a good starting book. Tailoring will let us improve our armor. Not my first choice for th something to level. Not fishing. Tailoring, mechanics, metal work. Farming. Foraging. We're looking for all the level one books. Cooking is probably a better choice. We're going to start doing some reading to get us some learning. Oh, we're a little overweight. We don't want to do that for too long. First aid, we got that. Okay. Here. Really hoping for Carpentry 1, but looking like I'm not going to get it. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Speak of the devil. All right. I'm going to move these books over, and I'm going to just take one of them with me. And reading is going to be... <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Noble, both of you came in as uh, purple text. I didn't realize it was a different person. Hi, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. Back underweight. 
sneak back into the bedroom. I'm just going to leave those buckets there. Their main purpose is going to be to collect rainwater, so that that works. Nobody snuck in? Okay. Okay, so I can't guarantee this room is going to stay safe. This one, I'll at least be woken up by stuff. All right. Eat this burrito. Finish that off. Um, we are... We can drop this pool cue. Busted. There's our watch. That alarm. 550. We're going to go to bed at 10, wake up at 6. And we're going to wind down our day by doing a little learning. I've got a mod on here so I can see when these things are read or found or started. Um. Well, normally I would just fast forward through these, but it's a chance to talk. Um, our end of day routine is going to be once we start getting tired, we just head back to the base. We do a little bit of reading, rest up, um, wake up at the same time. We're going to try and build an exercise routine uh, because we are obese and our fitness is low. We want to get our fitness up. So yeah, we're going to do that. All right. Learning books. There's two types. There's magazines, like this one, um, which you read real quick. And then you get some new recipes or uh, abilities. Most of the time it's recipes. Um, and then you have skill books, which you can interrupt. They're much longer. Um, and they give you XP multipliers for two levels. Each volume is for a certain group of levels. So volume one is for levels one and two. Volume two is for levels three and four, and so on. Uh, and skills that I already have points in, I get an XP boost in. This, uh, reading these, is going to uh, boost that even further. So you can see this one's going to take a lot longer. Um, which we just, we fast forward through that. Um, I'm starting with a 75% boost, and then I'm going to get another boost on top of that. Oh, I need to turn that alarm off. Do not need that second watch I'm carrying to wake me up. So... Though the magazines, you can't really interrupt. You have to restart. Different door. I don't care. That TV on? That TV is on. I'm going to turn that off. Um, Because TVs make noise and that can attract zombies. Means I got two pages there. It's gonna take a while, um, but those will give me an XP boost, which will let me learn much quicker. And then there's TV shows, which can give you just raw experience, and those will combine with the books 
Now, a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll try and set a schedule for themselves to go watch the Life and Living channel, uh, which should give you experience in things like carpentry and cooking and uh, sometimes some basic survival skills. Uh, I skip that intentionally. The reason for that is because it combines with the books and the books take a lot of time to read. Uh, now, after like the first week, those shows stop broadcasting. But there are VHSs of those shows. And you can go to the local home video rental place, because those existed in 93. Uh, and you can find those shows. And you only get the experience bonus the first time you watch it. So if you watch it live before you have the bonus, then you don't get as much experience. Um, like, the first two levels, you can, like, triple the experience that you get from one book. Um, so it's it feels well worth it, especially because between reading the books and watching the shows, um, Carpentry can be pretty much leveled to 9 or 10 easily uh, just by watching the videos and boosting it with books. And that's crazy. That's That's awesome. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I know where there's a VHS store. We'll hope we can get some good shows. Um, if not, maybe we get, when we've got a vehicle, we can go cruising to other towns and start raiding other uh, VHS stores. Um, I imagine the people watching right now know what a VHS is, but just in case there's any anyone younger... Um, if you know what a DVD is uh, to watch, uh, you know, like watching shows that aren't being streamed, VHS is what came before DVDs. Um, but yeah, it's the same thing. All right. So normally what we would do when we're reading these, we don't sit here and wait for this. We fast forward. Just like that. But now it's 10. I am agitated, so I'm going to have a smoke, and I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to ignore that banging on the doors. If they bang on the windows or doors here, I should wake up. Yeah. Hopefully. I don't hear them banging through the night, so I'm going to guess they uh, buzzed off. Oh, we already got a little bit of a bonus. 0.3. So, yay. It's a start. And that's for the first 25 pages of our 220-page book. All right. There we go. There's our alarm. We are going to start our exercise. I am... going to take a lot of this off. Well, not really a good idea to exercise in jeans, but I don't want to overheat while I'm exercising. Uh, normally, I would just strip down to, like, underwear, but you know what? We're, we're going to keep this PC. <laughs> okay. Exercise. Sit-ups. I'm going to tell her to do it for 60 minutes, but she's not going to last. Now, best feature of the game. The hardest part of building up a routine or exercising is just committing time to it. Uh, this sucks 
So what do you do? Fast forward. And we're done. <laughs> That's the exercise routine. All right, I am fully exhausted. So I'm going to sit on the ground. And I am going to put all of this back on while I sit. Um, I'm going to put a pipe wrench and a regular wrench back on the belt so that those are easy to grab when we need them. And while we're waiting for our exertion to die down, this is our time to read. This is going to be our routine. I'm going to read until 8 o'clock. I don't want to be right on the edge of exerted. So we go to 8. We got to page 56. Okay, we got to start. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> this place is this place is gone. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Start not strong. Oh god. Okay. That is a lot of zombies. Ho oh. ho. Well. This uh this won't end well. We're going to just walk away, pretend we didn't see them, secure a different bedroom for tomorrow night. <laughs> that one is gone. <laughs> there is no chance I get back there and that door is still standing to the bedroom. Okay. So goals for today. We're going to have to get some food. Uh, and we're going to need better weapons. This wrench ain't going to cut it. It's actually starting to wear away. Pipe wrench is up next. All right. We have eluded the cop. Come here. Come on. Nothing good there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to look for cars that have gas. Do I still have my? I do have my gas can. Okay. Any any vehicles that come across have gasoline. Uh, I'm stealing it, and I'm going back for that Rubicon. And that, actually, I probably use the classic for a bit until I have enough skills to repair the Rubicon. Then I'll use the Rubicon. Okay, we need a better weapon. Um, back up a little bit here. Seat yourself furniture, Hugo plush, time for sports. Sporting goods. We can use some sporting goods. It's probably one of these two doors. Maybe we can find a baseball bat. A helmet. You know what? I like the hockey helmet more. Baseball bat. Did that immediately favorite for me? Favorite. In both hands. There we go. That's a much better build. 
Did I take off my glasses? I did. I can wear glasses with this helmet. Yes, I can. Okay. Football helmets suck. Not really, but they're very good protection for the head. Alright, can I find anything else useful here? Lacrosse stick. I don't know, that's good. Oh, there's several baseball bats. Perfect. Uh, top off our water bottle. All right, we are we are now much better. Better off. A much better weapon to deal with. All of the range of the pool cue. But more damage than anything else that we've had. Neat. Do you have anything great on the clothes rack? No. Okay. Unlock this. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? We got a better weapon. Let's do this. That's a backpack on that guy. Need that. All right, come here, bud. All right. We now have backpack. I have a weird looking backpack. That's okay. Perfect. Okay. Let's get some breakfast. Anybody in there? No? Move the broken glass before you go through the window. Do not cut yourself up. These are all very good things to see. Do you have any fruits? I'm too fat for meat. Oh, hello. Blast hit. Oh, hello. Excuse me. I was busy with this one. Now it's your turn. Okay. No one else. Oh, okay. We don't know what that goes to, but I'm taking it. Here we go. I will eat an apple. Do I still have that bowl? Doesn't look like it. All right, all this stuff I don't need on me immediately goes in the backpack. Things in the backpack, um, they do not weigh as much. Three water bottles? I need two. All right. Use up those matches. And there, are things that attach to the belt do not cost me as much weight-wise. That's a little bit better. 
Okay. So. Bags. When you have them equipped, they have an encumbrance reduction, which is just a percentage reduction. So anything that is in there weighs... 60% less than it normally does. Um, as far as my total encumbrance. But they still have their full weight in that bag, so... I can put 19 pounds worth of... or 19 units, probably kilos, worth of stuff in there. favorite aim things so that I don't get rid of them on accident. When they're favorited, you don't... They won't be removed from your inventory if you do, like, a select all thing. Okay, we are... We're good there. We have, uh... Gotten our food for the day. Let's go get some tools. I'm gonna unlock the front door here. And now that I have a decent weapon, I'm going to try and clear the area around so we have fewer of these surprise zombie moments. You are broken winds. I saw that. I saw you go in that window. Oh! Didn't see you. Must have been hiding behind that tree or something. Come on, go down. Here you go. Looks like we got a boss player. go. The, uh, the Bic Pen that I was describing before is like one to two hits. Usually one to put down a zombie. We're gonna take that stuff off because that is, uh, pretty sure that's like a cosplay thing. Which is cool. One of the added things from one of the mods. I would very much like to leave these doors intact because they are a barrier that I can see through. I can make wood doors eventually, but they do not have glass in them. Maybe getting a little too aggressive. Some moderate exertion. I want that room, so I want to get that zombie off of there. Go get his attention. There we go. Got her off the window. So, running. I said before, you do it as little as possible. That's one of those moments where you just... Just a real quick short burst. You don't do a long run. Because you don't want to burn up your stamina. Just a quick little burst. Ooh. Good jacket. I'm taking that. Good boots. We'll save that. I definitely gotta save those. I'm just gonna throw them on the ground for now.
Okay. Now, not breaking the window, just opening. There we go. New bedroom secured. How's the adjacent room? Clear. That's clear. Close that. Okay. And a quick tap of that so that's unlocked. Okay. New bedroom secure. We're going to open and close these windows to get rid of the lock on them so we can just slide them open and close if we need to. All right. I am covered in blood. So I am going to top off the water and wash myself off here uh, while I get my exertion down. Just relax a little bit. Because um, that was dangerous. First day complete. Um, and it went pretty well. We have, uh, we have found our base. We have quite a bit of literature. We have a little bit of armor. Um, uh, wait, why? Is the water already off? No. No way. The water is already shut down. Oh, that's awful. Usually it's like a week. All right. We have to be very careful with our water use now. Um, and the Zomboid preview is not looking all that good um, in OBS. Hopefully that's not as janky as it looks. Let me open up the stream on mine and see how it looks. It is that unstable. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's pause the game for a minute here. Uh, yeah. Did not realize that uh, we were chugging so bad. Voting overloaded. Consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoding preset. Okay. We're pausing for a minute. Um. Hmm. Let's take a look here. See if we can't fix this.
I don't know if that's going to work. Ooh, that hurt my ears. Okay. Well, it looks better in preview. That's good, at least. Uh, it does not look good on stream. Let's try refreshing my view. Well, that looked like a normal blank, but it looks like it's delayed. Okay. It's a little bit better. Um, yeah. Okay, that looks a little better. And do I want to go? You know, I'm going to try it. Try boosting the coder preset a little bit. Eh, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there for now. It's medium. Medium quality, faster speed. Let's see how this looks. So I think we actually missed a little bit um, with things being bogged down. That's not unpausing yet. Hmm. We'll see if that catches up. I might do a reset of the screen. And uh, see if we get back. Get back to a better place. Actually, you know what? I'm going to open that. So I can see if anybody gets in there. Okay, yeah, it's... The stream's moving. Okay. Just very delayed. Um. Yeah, I'm going to do a quick reset, I think. 